But first, new scrutiny tonight on the Clinton Foundation, coming from what were supposed to be private emails. Just how much money and how much influence were on the table in dealing dealings involving the Clinton's family charity? And how much did Hillary Clinton play a role as Secretary of State? Chief National Correspondent Ed Henry has tonight's top story. Good evening, Ed. Good evening, Brent. We've heard a lot about the former President Bill Clinton getting a $1 million check for that foundation from Qatar. This time, we can directly tie Hillary Clinton to a much larger check. As Hillary Clinton dodged a question at the final presidential debate about charges of pay to play at the Clinton Foundation, a WikiLeaks email surfaced showing the candidate herself lined up a $12 million commitment from King Mohammed VI of Morocco, a revelation coming from Clinton's loyal aide, Huma Abedin, who wrote in a January 2015 email, she created this mess and she knows it. The mess refers to Clinton initially agreeing to speak at a May 2015 Clinton Global Initiative event in Morocco, though Politico reported at the time a $1 million contribution from the Moroccan government might stoke more controversy. The contribution was actually far bigger, $12 million, according to the email from Aberdeen, responding to top aides Robbie Mook and John Podesta. They were worried it would harm the April 2015 launch of the former Secretary of State's campaign. Mook writing, came up on our call with HRC. John flagged the same issues we discussed, Huma. HRC said she's still considering. Abedin replied the condition upon which the Moroccans agreed to host the meeting was her participation. This was HRC's idea. Our office approached the Moroccans, and they 100% believe they are doing this at her request. The king has personally committed approximately $12 million. In 2011, Clinton's State Department charged the Moroccan government was behind arbitrary arrests and corruption. And last night, Republican nominee Donald Trump demanded Clinton give back large contributions from countries with questionable human rights records. They it's a criminal enterprise. Clinton did not directly answer that and ducked a question from moderator Chris Wallace of Fox about allegations of pay to play. Everything I did as Secretary of State was in furtherance of. Uh, uh, our country's interests and our values. The Moroccan event ended up being led by Bill and Chelsea Clinton, while Hillary Clinton skipped it, even though Aberdeen warned it will break a lot of China with the Moroccan government. When you're in a sausage factory, it doesn't always look so good. Lanny Davis added, though, that the focus should be on the good works of the Clinton Foundation, especially fighting AIDS around the world, and he told me Aberdeen's email should not be taken, quote, too literally. Brett? And a couple other interesting emails came to light today as well, right? Yeah, different batches. Judicial Watch, first of all, released new State Department documents showing that the then secretary wrote to General David Petraeus that she had so-called Blackberry Blues about not being able to use her Blackberry inside her secure office. These are emails recovered by the FBI that were not turned over initially. And at one point she tells Petraeus, if you ever really need something from me, use my personal email address. Then WikiLeaks had an email from former Clinton intimate Doug Band. He writes to John Podesta. In 2011, he was frustrated about being forced to sign a document guarding against conflicts. Band writing, oddly, WJC does not have to sign that document, even though he's personally paid by three different sponsors of the Clinton Global Initiative. And also, he charged Bill Clinton gets many expensive gifts from those same sponsors. Very interesting revelation tonight, Brett. Okay, we'll continue to follow it. Ed, thank you.